The task seems impossible. To approach and retrieve a genetic sample from the three largest known rulers of their domains, the sea, the land, and the sky. This is an analysis of that challenge. A breakdown of the biology and terrifying scale of three prehistoric titans, creatures that represent the absolute pinnacle of size and power in the natural world. We will explore them as they have been presented, blending paleontological fact with their awe-inspiring cinematic forms. First, the sovereign of the deep, the Mosasaurus. While not a true dinosaur, this immense aquatic reptile is the undisputed apex predator of the Cretaceous seas. The version seen in the Jurassic franchise is a creature of hypergigantism, far exceeding the 18-meter maximum length suggested by the fossil record. This is a leviathan easily surpassing 30 meters, longer than a blue whale, and built with the predatory instinct of a killer whale fused with a crocodile. Its skull alone is a multi-ton weapon, equipped with a double-hinged jaw that allows it to engulf enormous prey. Its mouth contains two rows of conical teeth designed not for cutting, but for seizing and holding struggling victims with inescapable force. The creature's body is a torpedo of muscle, covered in tough, crocodilian-like hide, with a line of dorsal scoots running along its back, giving it an even more fearsome profile. Propulsion comes from a massive, powerful tail, ending in a fluke that allows for terrifying bursts of speed, enabling it to launch its entire body out of the water. To face this creature is to face a biological submarine built for combat. Any approach in its aquatic environment would be detected instantly. Its senses, attuned to pressure changes and vibrations, would register a submersible or diver as either a threat or a meal. The primary challenge is its sheer scale and aggression, an animal that treats a great white shark as a minor annoyance. Next, the giant of the continents, the Titanosaur. This group of long-necked sauropods represents the largest land animals to ever live. The franchise has showcased colossal examples like the Dreadnoughtus, creatures that defy modern comprehension. An adult stands over six stories tall and measures close to 40 meters from head to tail. Its weight is a staggering 70 to 80 tons, the equivalent of an entire herd of elephants concentrated into a single being. Each of its four legs is a massive, weight-bearing pillar, ending in broad, fleshy pads to distribute the immense pressure of its steps. The ground physically trembles as it walks. Its body is a colossal, barrel-chested torso, housing an enormous fermentation gut to process hundreds of kilograms of plant matter daily. From this body extends a neck of incredible length, a marvel of biological engineering composed of lightweight vertebrae filled with air sacs, allowing it to browse from the tops of the tallest trees. Its tail, equally long, acts as a counterbalance and a defensive weapon. While a placid herbivore, the titanosaur's danger lies in its passive scale. It exists on a different plane of reality, where human-sized beings are simply part of the terrain. A single step could obliterate a vehicle. A casual swing of its tail could level a building. To acquire a sample requires entering its personal space, a zone where the laws of physics are dictated by its immense mass and where a human is too small to even be noticed before being crushed. Finally, the tyrant of the sky, Quetzalcoatlus. As seen in its most terrifying cinematic appearances, this gigantic pterosaur is perhaps the most unique of the three challenges. In the air, its wingspan is that of a small jet airplane, up to 12 meters across. These are not feathered wings, but vast membranes of leathery skin, stretched and supported by a single, elongated finger on each hand. In flight, it is a master of the air currents, able to soar for miles or dive upon its prey with shocking speed. But the true terror of the Quetzalcoatlus is revealed when it lands. It walks on all fours, using its folded wings as front limbs, giving it a terrestrial height equal to a giraffe. It is not a clumsy creature on the ground, it is a swift and lethal stalker. Its head is a massive, spear-like instrument, ending in a long, sharp, and entirely toothless beak. It hunts like a gigantic stork from hell, stalking its prey before striking downwards with incredible speed and precision. As depicted in its attack on the Biosyn plane, it is fiercely territorial and relentlessly aggressive. The challenge is therefore dual. In the air, it is a massive, fast-moving target. On the ground, it is a towering predator that can look a human in the eye before striking. Its skin is a tough, leathery hide, 
likely covered in a thin coat of hair like pycnofibers, a creature that blends reptilian and avian features into something uniquely formidable. These three titans represent the pinnacle of evolution in their respective domains. The Mosasaurus, a master of aquatic power and predatory efficiency. The Titanosaur, a living mountain that conquered the physical limitations of life on land. And the Quetzalcoatlus, a creature that achieved flight on an impossible scale and perfected predation from both the sky and the ground. To face them is to understand the true meaning of the word, Goliath, and to confront the humbling reality of what nature is capable of.